another video. In this video, I'm going to be checking out all the Razer mice that are available. Razer was kind enough to send me every single one of them. I'm going to check them out. I'm going to show you what each of them does in order to win one of these epic Razer Naga mice. Be sure to leave a comment below because we choose a winner from the comments. First off, I'm going to go into the contest winner of last week. The winner is right there. I want to say congratulations. All right, let's check out the mice. All right guys, I have all my mice hooked up to my computer and I'm gonna show you what each one can do. But I first wanna say that uh, a Razer Naga in MMO gaming is a huge advantage. And I can tell you from experience, I cannot do the things that I do today if it wasn't for having a mouse with so many buttons. Almost all the Razer mice have 17 buttons that you can program. Except for the hex, it has uh, six additional buttons on the side, but we'll get, we'll get to that. All right, let's go. Let's go show you what they can do. Okay, right here we have the Razer Naga. This is the Razer Naga Molten. It's the same as the Razer Naga, except it has the molten design. It lights up. Pretty cool. It's got 17 MMO optimized buttons, including the 12 buttons on the thumb grid right here. It has 5,600 DPI and a 3.5 G laser sensor, 1,000 Hertz ultra pulling, and 1 MS response time. It also uses the Razer Synapse 2.0 to save your settings online. The next one we have here is the newest Razer Naga that came out. It also has the 17 buttons, the 12 buttons on the thumb grid. 5,600 DPI, 3.5 G laser sensor, 1,000 ultra pulling, and 1 MS response. One of the main differences in this new Razer Naga is that the side panels can be interchanged. So you can customize it for different hand sizes or, or different grips. Me personally, I like the, the medium size. This is, this is my option right here. Next up, is an awesome mouse. This is the Razer Naga Epic. It also has 17 fully programmable MMO optimized buttons, including the 12 buttons on the thumb grip. This mouse also is wired or wireless. It has a docking station that you can dock your mouse right into it so you can charge it. And you can also take the cable out and you can plug the cable straight into the mouse and make a wired mouse. It also has three interchangeable side panels that you can customize for your hand grip. The Razer Naga Epic also has optional MMO specific software add-ons and it has 12 million color backlit illuminated, 1000 ultra pulling and a 1 MS response time. Now the difference too is it's 1 MS response time wired or wireless. The battery is actually inside right here. You can take it out. This is the battery and it goes straight in right here. And the side, the side panels are magnetized and they snap right back into place. The battery has 12 hours of life after it's recharged. Next up is the SWTOR Gaming Mouse. As you can see, it has also the 17 buttons. It has the 12 button thumb grid. The 17 buttons are fully programmable. And it's also wired and wireless, just like the Razer Naga Epic. And it has a docking station that the, that the mouse fits on right here. Now the docking station also functions as a wireless receiver unit. So you can use your mouse wirelessly. Now it also has multicolor lighting. You can choose the colors, 5,600 DPI, 1MS response, wired or wireless. It also has a 12 hour battery life. It also has an interchangeable gold backlit faction emblem from SWTR. And in order to put that, you can just snap it right out. And the emblem is also magnetized and it snaps right into place. And finally, we have the Razer Naga Hex. This is one of the newest mouses that Razer came out with. It's beautiful. Check out that design. And instead of having 12 buttons on the side, it has six buttons. These are six MOBA action RPG optimized mechanical thumb buttons. If you press them, you can feel them, they're mechanical. So there's 11 total programming buttons, including the two on the top. It has a special switch in buttons for 250 clicks per minute. It's also 5,600 DPI, 3.5 G laser sensor, 1,000 ultra pulling, and also one MS response time. Now all the mouses that you see here also use the Razer Synapse 2.0 to save your settings online. Next up you're going to see how I use the Razer Naga in-game on my Warrior and on my Druid. My setup uses a Razer Nostromo on my left hand and I use the Razer Naga on my right hand. When I press down the middle mouse button it acts as an alt for me because I'm missing a finger on my left hand. So I set the middle mouse button on the Naga as an alt. I really like the ability to be able to change any of the buttons on the Razer Naga to whatever you want. You can program them, you can make macros for them, and it's really helped me out in gaming over the years.
vanish. Trinketed, psychic scream. Counter. Grounding. Deep freeze. Throw down. Berserker range. Ice block. Ice block down. Berserker range. Retaliation. Vanish. The Razer Anansi keyboard has also been specifically designed to work well together with the Razer Naga. Alright guys, I hope you like this overview on some of the Razer Naga mice. Uh, be sure to leave a comment below so you have a chance of winning one of these awesome prizes. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, it's here. Thanks for watching.